Our imagination is more complex than we thought, and we're finally beginning to untangle the intricacies of this faculty, with the latest neuroscience suggesting it's not just one thing, but has four subtypes, reproductive, creative, perceptive, and cultural. So reproductive is all about creating a sensory image of what you're imagining. So if I ask you to imagine an apple in your mind's eye, what color is it? How does its skin look? Can you get a sense of its weight? By recalling or knowing the apple's properties, you're able to reproduce apple-like sensations in the absence of the real thing. And when you do so, research suggests the brain regions that activate strongly when you look, smell, and feel an, a real apple activate weakly, giving your image its visual feel. Creative imagination or productive imagination is all about tinkering with the image we've reproduced, creating entirely new ideas and scenarios. Imagination of this kind often exploits sensory imagery, although those with aphantasia who do not have the ability to call images to the mind's eye can still create things that are new and useful. We don't usually consider the day-to-day -day things we actually perceive as imaginative, but our experiences are dependent on our knowledge of the sensory world, so many leading neuroscientists are of the opinion that our experience is actually a controlled hallucination. We experience the greenness of the leaf not because it's an objective property of the leaf, but because the light that bounces off the leaf and into our eyes is what we collectively call green. And we're deeply cultural creatures, and that forms part of our imagination, a faculty known as cultural imagination. Our cultural heritage is simply a visible, cumulative, creative product of human imagination through evolutionary history. So the cultural imagination to forge new tools for preparing food or envisage new styles of clothes to wear, for example. But not only is our imagination not one singular thing, but not everyone imagines the same. What type of imagination do you have? Find out in our imagination special.